Ah, I see. You f**kers have put me in this uh this little ditch here. So you f**kers have put me in this little arena here to fight some uh fight some f**ks, eh? And see how long they really f**king last, huh? Fuck! Fuck! I'm so sorry. Oh, fuck! I'm so sorry. Holy sh**! You're gonna need a surgery after that. Oh, fuck! I gave you an early nose job. Your appointment was due next week, but fuck it. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. Uh, I improved your jawline. At, at least you got that. Shit. You can't f*** with someone that can't die. I'm your dentist, by the way. Yeah, you should be fine. Just give it a few days. Yep. There you go. Well, at least you don't have cancer in your eye anymore. That, that's at least a good thing. Hey, you were due for your appointment last week. Shh. It's okay, my love. It's okay. It's okay. Appointment? Yeah, sure. Cool. Hey, no, 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 no. This is perfectly safe. What are you guys doing? You don't run away from your dentist appointment, silly. Look at you. You're a wacky, wavy, inflatable, unflailing tube man. That was just a numbness shot. Don't worry about it. Get on the table. Hands by your side. Thank you. Now, my friend, are you aware with how this works? <laughs> oh, wait. I already put the numbness cream in you. Uh, the, the numbness syringe. It's okay. I will, I will fix your bad teeth. Right now, you're still awake because your eyes are open. We can fix that. Just with this tool that I got you to grab for me on the way inside. This is, this is medieval dentistry, by the way. Medieval dentistry. I'm going to teach you, my friend, my, my colleague, my, uh, my buddy, my pal, how to do, uh, proper dentistry. Get this, the, this end and you just go... This is just to loosen up the teeth a little bit. As you can see, he's still awake. He can't feel anything, but we don't want him to be awake. All you need to do is just you get this light, this this soft soft end of the of, of the uh, the teeth soft now. Go right here to the temple. Just give it a little rub. This is to loosen it up a little bit to help him sleep better. There we go. Now, he has no chance, no chance of waking up during the procedure. And if you want to make sure he's, uh, if he's not going to wake up or not, there's a special spot on the body that he'll make a sound to if he feels any. Nothing? Okay, good. He's, uh, he's fast asleep. So, what you do, now once he's asleep, all you need to do is you get this, this special tool. You can tell the distinct difference, but all you need to do to wake him up is you get this tool. This tool, once again, and you just imbue it with an electric shock, just like a, uh, just like you would with a hospital, with some, this is basically a medieval defibrillator. Place it right here in the chest, give it a little bit of rub. CLEAR! He did a little bit of a jiggle, so what you do is you keep doing that, so, CLEAR! See? Now he's fine. Uh, he was just having a bad dream. There's nothing to worry about. So if you ever want him to wake up, all you need to do is clear. Yeah, he's fine. He'll wake up in a few hours. Anyways, so back to the procedure. Get this little tool here. You just do a little bit of a... You were meant to fucking open your mouth before you went to sleep, you dumb c I thought this was the- I thought this was the teeth procedure, not the eye procedure. Fuck. Well, you might as well carry on. Uh, you, you- you can't- you're gonna be missing two eyes, but at least you'll have good teeth. <laughs> Medieval dentistry! And just to finish it off, it's like a it's like a toothpick in a sandwich with an olive on top. Just like that. That's your first customer gone. 
Hello, love. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're just gonna softly put you on this table here. Stop making this difficult, you little frat and tease. There we go. For this surgery, stay still. For this surgery, we'll be doing heart surgery. High five. Good job. So proud of you already. I'm so proud of you. Now, where's our beating stick? Yes. We're gonna do this heart surgery whether you like it or not. You ready to be knocked out? Well, there's not really anything you can do about that. No, 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 no. You're not going anyway. You need to stay still for the surgery. Medieval heart surgery. Sorry, I didn't mean to grasp your titty. It's just it's necessary for the uh, for the moment. So, now, you people at home may have seen this uh, this weaponry before. Now, let's get this right this time. Is this the heart surgery or the brain surgery? The brain surgery. Okay, now, make sure not to f*** it up this time. So what you do is uh, just make a little incision at the neck like this. Quack. Ah, anyways, that was supposed to happen. So, just move the, move, move the, uh, hmm, move the specimen down a bit. Now, if this ever happens during your surgery, you'll know exactly what to do. So, you kiss the head. What you do, get your cauterization tool. Go like this. Yeah, I don't think I'm cut out to be a doctor. It's gone to a thousand degree knifing. Hey guys, my name is Tanner Fox, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be using the 1,000... I'm going to be doing the one... The 1,000... The 1,000... Degree knife on this keg here. So let's see how it goes. Let's go. It goes through that piece of wood just like my pe my girlfriend's penis in the morning. <laughs> 